All righty, nuclear top secrets. Can't remember if I did a mayfly for you. Hold on a second here. There we go. Already got the tail tied in, just like anything. Any old pattern book. This is nuclear mission, or actually, yeah, that's bilobial dubbing. I use mostly unwaxed thread. Nowadays, I don't tie too many dry flies. This is a glue stick, basically made to help posters and things like that. You can use that instead of wax, beeswax. If you use unwaxed thread, you don't have to worry about your bobbin clogging up, having to stop to clean that. Now, pretty much, nowadays, anyway, back to that. Whatever you use to hold your dubbing on, you really doesn't matter because that's not what's going to hold the dubbing. Use your thread here. Some people recommend a wire. That gives you a nice little ribbon effect. And it's actually pretty much nowadays these threads are that's just about as good as or as strong as wire, copper wire. This is a, a real fine EMT wings that I make. Embossed micro thin wings. catch on either side take two more so that don't fall while you're putting the other one on if you wanted to actually you can make a nice little loop with some nuclear emission wing whatever color these I happen to they're based on Wind River design Wind River. The only problem is the cutting the dark cut stuff is fine. Look at that in that helicopter. I designed my own test chamber, basically a big fan, and I take swivel. This would be going back towards the fan. Tie in a swivel with a line going up and down, and a snap swivel. Actually, now that snap swivel. This is a cheaper hackle. Like I said, I don't tie many dry flies, especially mayflies, because there aren't that many up here. We do have sometimes tremendous trico, about size 20 hatches. But anyway, that little design I have with that snap swivel, I can take and uh, put a fly in front of there, turn that big fan on, and it'll tell me whether that fly is going to helicopter from my design or whatever. I also utilize an aquarium when I can't get to a stream, frozen up since I'm up here in Alaska. You can splay these out before or after, it doesn't really much matter. If you wanted a spent rent wing, you could get those bent over. Like I said, this cheap hackle, I don't use dry fly hackle too much. Anyway, you get the point. It's just basically like tying with anything else. Any other mayfly. These aren't even my best hackle pliers. I can't find them because I got so many things on the bench.
Another reason I sub out all my tying, if I come up with a dry fly pattern, there are tires, all I need to do, might take me a little while to get one good hackle, I mean one good fly sample down there, and the tires are so experienced they can get them better. I've had good success fishing for myself in the past, just using saddle hackle for the simple fact that during back casting, if you got a good dubbing that sheds water and bilobial dubbing, the uh, micro thin fiber in it really doesn't suck up any water that's dyed by itself then I mix it in with another material that is dyed by itself and back casting sheds just about all the water that might come into it. That hackle might have been just a little bit too big, but according to the chart, it isn't. Believe it or not, best pattern based on the atoms. If you ever saw a book by Fox and Marinara, I believe it is, in the Ring of the Rise, and there's another one out now for steelhead salmon fishermen, what trout or what fish see. They really looking up and what fish see kind of disproves part of what Marinara and all did. The gentleman used the camera getting in there snorkeling. And all they're gonna see looking up at a bright sky is a dark object. fly happens to be sitting on the water like that like they're supposed to then they're not gonna see everything but these wings give a nice bit of flash along with this material if it happens to get in the water in a riffle all right